What's happening guys? It's Sean. Welcome to another Killzone Shadowfall vid. And uh, just look at that PS4 next gen graphical deliciousness. And I just say that because I've been reminded how good we have it right now. Because I recently went back and I played Modern Warfare 3 and I played Black Ops 2. And it's mainly my inspiration for that. It's because the um, streamers I watch is mainly Ozarek YouTube. You should check him out. And of course Mr. Fisticuffs. And Jay Nasty, even for that matter. And, you know, they've been going back to some of the older titles. Because, frankly, Ghost is just a fucking snooze fest. And that's a whole other topic. You know, even Ghost looks like an 8 bit Atari game compared to Killzone on the PS4. But hear me out. And I always, I always say that when I try to, like, like, I feel that I need to back up something and say, well, hear me out on this one. My theory is that Ghost is really an Xbox 360 game that's ported over to PS3 and ported over to PS4, so you really don't get what Killzone offers. You know, Killzone was made for PS4, it was launched for PS4. I remember when I I played Ghost for a couple of weeks, I'm sorry, um, about a, a couple months before I, I, I got it on PS4. And yeah, I mean, there was a nice graphics upgrade going to PS4, but... Uh, Ghost on PS4 looks nothing like Killzone, and uh, but we're not here to talk about Ghost. We're here to talk about Killzone. And after seeing Martyrs Brigade's video today, uh, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now, and I agree with I'd probably say 90 percent, 90, 95 percent of what he says in his videos. I'm a big fan of his, and I've been a, a, um, a long time subscriber. But after getting in a lobby that looks like this. And then playing a game, and then having half my team quit out, and then in the lobby that looks like this, uh, I thought there was some subjects that I finally wanted to address. So just to give you uh, some background real quick, so I have two PSN accounts, right? One is my Mesa Sean account, which was my primary account for say like Caught Ghosts, and then once once I hit 10th Prestige, I used my second account, and it was the same thing with Black Ops 2. I remember once I hit Master Prestige, I wanted to see. What I could get my KD up, so I have this other account. So when I first started playing Killzone, I played only solo, and I played on that sick on uh, the second account, not the Mesa Sean account. My KD, and this was just playing solo, learning the game. KD was 0.6, and my win loss was like a 0.5 or something like that. And I remember I was just getting constantly into rooms with clans, and I was seeing all the tags. I was, you know, I was so new to the game, I didn't even know where to find the clan tags until someone pointed it out to me. But I, you know, I had no friends because all my friends were playing COD, you know? They were like, what are you playing Killzone for? It's, you know, game's so clunky and slow. And then I was seeing these clans like Rodham, I would see J4A, and I don't know. But long story short, I got into the room and got totally pub stomped by the J4A guys, and I sent a message to um, End the Waves, because he, pretty much every single game was at the top of leaderboard. And I was nice, I just sent a message saying, you know, do you guys realize what you do for new players? And you pretty much scare them away from the game. And then he just wrote me back. He was like, listen, you know, thanks for being civil, but, you know, there's no clan system. And we're just a bunch of guys that just have fun, you know? So then I just started playing with them. And then uh, they just invited me to join them. And from, you know, I can only speak from, from our perspective, for our clan. It's not like we go in and we say, you know, let's pub stomp. We only play together. Most of the time, it's usually just four of us. You know, it's usually me, Waves, Abby, Toxic Thrash, and then we have Cody, my good boy Cody, Cody Cowley from Rave. And it's usually just the four of us, you know? And there was a game, I'm not sure if I posted it or not, but I definitely have it saved on my, from my Elgato. But it was, we jumped, the four of us, me, Toxic, Waves, and Cody, we jumped into an extended, no, no, no. It was a classic, classic war zone against Rodham, and we turned it around, kicked their ass, and they actually ended up leaving. So, like, I guess there is some misconceptions about different clans. My clan, Justice for All, we're just a bunch of guys, just love having fun, get on mic, you know, we don't really always get into parties, like Martyrs said in his video today, you know, just make friends with people, and that's what I started doing, just making friends with people from, from opposite clans, and I would, you know, join their game sometimes. I remember this one clan, and I'm not gonna tell you who they are, but I joined their game because um, none of my clanmates were on, and they, I'm friends with two of them, and I didn't have my mic on, but I could hear everything they were saying, 
and they basically kicked me after I uh, maybe like like five minutes of the game and I don't know why because I asked like my friend why did they do that and he's like no I just you know we have too many people but I think it was because they don't want anyone else from any other clan playing with them to know their tactic um, to understand their tactics and pretty much all they were doing was they literally had six seven spawn beacons out and every single one of them you know was running support and like when I was watching Martyr's video today against Rodham you know that was just pure team stacking and when you have nine people you know I don't know how many it was like ten people all from the same clan all running support probably have mics and communicating like when I was playing um, with Cody and three of the other guys from my clan and we, um, we took on Rodham you know it was just simple four guys communicating and that's all it really was. If we needed a spawn beacon, we verbalized and say, hey, you know, there's only two spawn, uh, there's only one spawn point out. We need two out there. Or, you know, C is okay, you know, I got a turret covering. You know, just stuff like that. So, in my last vid, I remember I commented on that I've been, you know, kind of digging that they've been forcing you to play things like Extended Warzone and how all I used to play was 24 play Warzone. And with regards to the whole pub stomping thing, because that's kind of the main, you know, topic of discussion. It wasn't fun on both ends because in, in 24 play war zones the games you know they obviously go much faster and extended and it ends it usually what the fuck is this guy doing <laughs> he's playing in the corner it always ends up or it was ending up in being a total pub stomp where you know the game ends really quick and as you know marty is his name marty i don't know marty said you end up you know trying to scavenge for kills because you got him base camped or at the same time you're having the hardest time, you know, to get out. It's like when I got on today, one of the frustrating things is I'm not one of those people that can get on and play for two, three hours, not even one hour for that matter, you know. That's why I like 24 play at Warzone because for me it was kind of the perfect mode balance. I could go in, I could have maybe two, three games and then leave for the day. Um, I'm just not one of those people that can get on and play for two, three hours. I, you know, it's like to get my fix and then get out, you know, then come back later on, you know, play one or two more. You know, it's so like this morning, I remember, like, I got on for, I don't know, like an hour. And it was just playing extended because that's where everyone was. And it was just, it was not fun at all. It was, it was just every single game was a complete loss. Base camping. Uh, clans, pretty much. I'm pretty sure it was clans. Um, I didn't actually record those games because I did horrible. But in those cases, you know what I do? I say, all right, if I'm not going to win, it's going to be a KD game. So that's when I switch to my scout class. I just teleport the fuck out of my base. And I just pick people off the whole game. And I'll go in double positive. Because what I'll do is, like, when you get in a game, and this is you know, what I recommend. It, this is the way that I play the game. If I get into a lobby, and I'm playing solo, and I'm making an attempt to put spawns down, and no one else is, and we're not winning the game, then I switch to KD mode, okay? So what I mean by that is, if no one else is going to make an effort, and I'm one of those sadistic fucks that likes to send people messages because it's so easy with the, with the PlayStation 4 app, you know, after game. And I don't send hate mail, guys. I really don't. But, I remember, you know, there was once or twice where it came so close, me and some randoms, but the deciding factor, I think, was I was the only one putting spawn beacons down. I remember I messaged, and this happened maybe two, three times, where I messaged the top player on my team. I was like, you realize if you just would have left a few spawn beacons, we might have won that game. It was so close. And immediately got so defensive. Well, what? It's it's my responsibility for leaving spawn beacons? You know, who the fuck do you think you are? I'm like, easy, Ace. I'm not trying to be hostile. I'm just trying to understand. You play a game, do you play to win? Or, you know, are you playing just for... Actually, one guy wrote me back. He's like, look, dude, I'm just doing... I'm played that game for challenges. Like, I'm trying to get this thing unlocked or whatever. Totally understandable. I, you know, I, I'm totally guilty of that of myself, too. Of just getting into games. And if I'm working on a particular challenge to unlock a silencer or laser sight for the for the Valk or whatever, you know, I'm guilty of that. But um, so if I'm playing with randoms and I start off making an attempt to leave spawns and no one else is, then I just turn it into a KD game and say, fuck it. I'm either going to camp and use turrets and just take people out all game or I'm going to switch to scout class and just go on kill streaks. And that's pretty much it. So, I mean, at the end of the day... It's all about fun, and it's basically how are you going to figure out, well, how are you going to have fun with this game? Is it fun getting pub stomp? No. Is it fun pub stomping? No. Because you're scavenging for kills the whole time because you've got beasts, or at least in my clan, I got beasts like Toxic Thrash and and the Waves, who are just good and Tyrese, too. He's, another, he's in this game. 
who are going to always dominate the leaderboard and take all the kills. Is that really fun? No. But I think it's a lot of fun when it's really just three or four of us. And, you know, one of the things that was brought up was, well, what's a happy medium? Because we don't have a clan system right now. I know that, um, I think his name is Sugar Shack. And as you all know, the master of the Hall of Fame, Mr. Durant. M Mr. Durant 35, I think it is. I'm sorry if I get that wrong. They contacted me about setting up some clan mashes, matches. And we were going to, and then Toxic, who's pretty much our main leader guy, his PS4 shit the bed, so that just never happened. And it just seemed more frustrating trying to organize the whole thing with rules and yada yada. So I'm hoping, you know, that they implement some sort of clan thing. But, you know, maybe for pubs, something might be um, of interest. And I know, you know, guys, we suggest a thousand things on that forum. And, uh, you know, in their feedback voting system thing, that it's probably way too overwhelming for them. And it would be for anyone to get all that, just constantly a thread every other second complaining about the menu and the war zones and why there's not people here. Just keep it simple. One thing that I think probably would help is if you kept, let's say they had one particular war zone, and just test this out. Pick a war zone and you limit it to only groups of five. Okay, so let's say it's, you know, uh, 24 player extended war zones. You're only allowed to be in a party of four to five people. So let's, you know, they might make it for maybe four guys from Rave or playing with four guys from Yo or whatever. Or, you know, it can only be a limited amount of people partying up. You know, because I watched Marty's vid today. I've been in those matches, man, when it's ten fucking people from one clan and it's just impossible to do anything. You know, no matter what you do on your end, you may get the most kills on your team. You may be the beast or whatever it's just there's no way you're gonna win when you have that much team stack so i think a test idea i know there's just been so many things suggested it's probably way too overwhelming is to implement something where there's one war zone where there's a limit of parties to only four to five people or something like that because we don't know when we're going to get the clan system and how is that even going to work and then how is that going to affect pubs is that going to kill the numbers or are all us clan people going to switch over to this new clan system for for game i don't know how it's going to work you know i know from you know from my clan is we're not one of those guys that are obsessed with competitive and only play competitive and have a 2.0 kd and only play with you know the rule set of clan I, you know like I, um i watch all those cod mlg guys and i watch some of the matches that i see from the kill zone competitive youtube channels and stuff it looks like fun i mean i don't know if it's really for me but um yeah we'll just see you know we'll see how it rolls out so if you actually lasted this long into the commentary because i know that i tend to ramble on a bit and it's no different in this video but i don't have the skills that say martyrs has because i will sit down and listen to a whole 45 minute video of his he, he's got that that gift of gab and that smooth tone i've got that god awful new york accent that i try to shake you know i lived in the midwest for a couple of years and that's when i realized that we say things like coffee and not coffee and we say talk and co talk you know my mother's from Williamsburg Brooklyn she calls me Sean all right I'm going off another tangent here but so that's pretty much it guys it's about having fun and the way that I have fun is 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 when I'm playing with I'd say four or five teammates and if I'm up against the clan I'm just gonna play for KD I'm just gonna go for kills or I'm gonna work on a challenge or something you know, I finally started working on that fours, and I was having a blast with it last night, just playing solo. I mean, I lost these games, but I was going on five to ten streaks with a fours, which is some, I don't know. For a non-sniper like myself, that's pretty damn rare. But anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Um, if there's any other things you want me to talk about, I know I like to ramble, but hopefully if you subscribe to me and you watch my other videos, this is the style of commentary I do. I tend to ramble, I don't like to make edits, I just talk about what's on my mind and leave all the mistakes in, and I hope you can appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, uh, I know I plugged last video the on the sickle nerf, I have all the footage for the noob tube testing, and you guys will be pretty surprised I'm doing some more testing tonight, in about an hour, we'll get to jump into private lobby and get some more perspective, uh, some more footage, 
of the noob tubes and finally put that whole issue to rest hopefully we could stop having 10,000 threads on the forum it's, it's it's probably getting a little old now guys they're not gonna nerf it all right um, and, I, and frankly I don't think they need to nerf it but you'll wait for that next video so like favorite and subscribe I don't know how people do it but but I will end on that note I will say if, if you enjoyed the content please leave me a like if you have a question or um, you know, I'm so bad at these endings but you know what? I just let it roll if you enjoyed the content please leave me a like please leave me a comment if you disliked it leave me a dislike but leave me a comment why subscribe if you want to see some more kill zone and actually destiny because that's coming up soon and eat that c4 sandwich baby i'm out i'll see you guys next one